what is going on guys welcome back to my channel uh, so i did a little poll the other day on my instagram you guys wanted to film uh, me for me to film uh, a workout in the hotel gym where i am in the maldives right now so uh, i think it's chest day i'm gonna do a little bit of chest and abs maybe touch on some shoulders as well uh, but i'm gonna run you through today's workout but first i need to get to the gym on my sturdy steed my stallion of a bike <laughs> everyone gets given a bike here when they uh when they arrive you just gotta watch out on these tracks because especially when you're coming back at night because you can't see a thing but yeah highly recommend anyone uh wanting to get away to come to the maldives once lockdown is over this place is the closest thing to paradise i think i've ever been to I've been to a few beautiful places around the planet as well. Bali, Thailand, like both are unreal, but this place is next level. And there's like 700 islands as well. But anyway, yeah. So today we're gonna run you through a chest workout uh, in the gym. There's not that much equipment. Oh, oh, we've got some traffic. Um, there's a Smith machine. Uh, some very light dumbbells um, and that's about all that is for chest so I'm gonna uh, do quite a lot of bodyweight movement to make it as easy as possible for you guys um, but yeah let's get to the gym What a whip. <laughs> Here we go. This is what we're working with. I did legs the other day, which wasn't too bad. So it's got the Smith machine. I've uh, got leg extension, hamstring curl, and then do a variation of things on here. So that wasn't too bad, but chest day might be a little bit, might be a little bit of a struggle, not a struggle, but we've got to get creative, you know? So uh, I'm gonna have a little think of what I'm gonna start off with. Uh, I will use uh, the Smith machine just because it's here, uh, but mainly my workout is gonna be uh, body weight stuff so you guys can purely do this at home as well and if you have got some sort of bench press or a smith machine there you go you can add that into the workout as well so yeah let me get planning okay to start off with i'm literally just gonna warm up my chest muscles um get them activated and stuff so we're gonna start with some press ups uh just a little warm up probably do three reps uh of 20 and then we'll start getting some working sets So obviously if you are doing this at home, if a simple press up is too hard for you, you can always start on your knees. But you can get to do it. Hands shoulder width apart. So when we're doing these, I'm gonna do one shoulder width part, one wide, and then I'll do one diamond grip as well.
don't forget to warm those shoulders up. It's always important when you're doing pretty much any upper body movement because if you damage your rotator cuff or anything like that, you're gonna have a long few years of problems. So stretching and just moving the joints and muscles are key. People underestimate the power of doing your warm up movement before getting into your big ones as well. <clears throat> All right, so last set, we're gonna do close grip push-ups. It's gonna hit the inner chest, and then we'll get into some working sets. Right, now we are nice and warmed up. So if you've got some sort of a chair or a block at home, for instance, I'm just gonna be using this bench if I see some in the gym, but you can use anything to elevate your feet, right? So it's gonna start, but it's gonna be essentially doing the same as in like incline press when you're on a bench or if I was on the Smith machine. I'm just doing this so you can uh, do this at home. So to break it down, there's like upper and bottom part of your chest. Uh, and certain exercises to improve your thickness and the surface area of your chest. So this one is going to be hitting the top part of our chest. So I get to work, probably do four sets, uh, 15 to 20 reps, depending on how fatigued I get. So legs on here, hands shoulder width apart, core engaged. And think they need to have a gym obviously I'm in a gym now but doing home workouts and home movements gets your mind going you got to be creative and you actually become a lot stronger in your body weight movements than you are when you're in the gym because a lot of people go on the machines uh, the isolation machines and you're not engaging your core using your body weight you're literally just up down up down there's no stability involved really so I do encourage doing a home workout at least once, twice a week. Just calisthenics, you know, just mixing it up a little bit. Uh, it's good. So for the rest period, try and keep it to around a minute. Obviously I've been chatting, but a minute, 90 seconds, and then straight into the next set. to eat yet this morning, just fueled on coffee. <clears throat> but yeah, stretch out in between your sets as well. So you're gonna be hitting the top of your chest up here at the moment. Just start to feel it, nice little squeeze. With the tempo as well, just go at your own pace. Don't try and rush it. There's nothing worse than banging out push-ups as fast as you can. You're gonna take out like what you're actually trying to do. You need to work on the mind-muscle connection. Think about what part of the chest you're using, okay? Hello. Hi, mate, you all right? All right. Yeah, good, thanks. Do you want closer? Uh, I'm fine, thank you, bro. Bend your feet, muscle your head, 
Uh, yeah, hey, cool. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Been working a long time for them. Yeah. <laughs> nice, I'll come over afterwards, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. See you, Angel. See you too. Mm -hmm. See, funnily enough, like, <laughs> that's another thing when you're in a gym, you talk a lot. And if you're getting your home workouts in, you ain't talking, you're just working. So obviously, lovely guy, and I'll probably go see him afterwards, but that's the thing I noticed when I was going to the gym a lot, time management. I'd be driving there, I'd be 15, 20 minutes there. I'd go, I'd have a shake, have a meal afterwards, pre-workout, I'd chat to people, I'd be on my phone. It's like a two hour process, you know? So when you're home workouts and you're limited for time, knowing what to do, having a plan, getting it done at home, you will make some serious gains and have a lot more time management uh, a lot more time to get your work done, get your goals done throughout the day. Anyway, last set, focus. <sighs> oh. Right, first set done on upper chest. So now I'm going to do another one, uh, probably work flat or do some sort of decline to work the bottom part of the chest. So next exercise, obviously guys don't forget to stay hydrated, oh shit, I hope we're flowing. Um, so next one we're going to work with is going to be archer push-ups, okay? So the way you do these, you have a wide stance with your arms and you'll be going side to side. This is to add more resistance to each pectoral muscle. As we haven't got much weight, when you're putting more pressure on one side, so it's gonna be more weight one side. It's basic uh, practice for when you're starting to learn how to do the one-arm push-ups as well. So it's always good if you want to try to achieve that, but I'll show how this works now. So with these, <clears throat> Again, if it's harder, you can do them on your knees, but essentially, you're gonna be up like this, and you're gonna go over to one side, kind of probably even wider actually, to straighten your arm out. So, we'll do um, <clears throat> four sets, try and hit four. I'll try and go for 20, so 10 each side. If not, probably 14 to 16, but we'll see how we get on. These ones are quite tough, <laughs> but very beneficial. Really try and engage your core as well when you're doing this as well, but you'll feel these a lot more, it's a lot more resistant on each side as you're spreading the weight across like this. So I'll give these a go. These are quite an advanced push up as well, but if you're advanced and the gyms are shut at home, give these a go 100%. So again, minute rest, minute to 90 seconds, and we'll get into the next one. Get a nice little chest pump now. All right. Get the kit off. 
give the people what they want. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Just hot now. Sweating through all my gym clothes when I'm out here. Every session, do my cardio, then I'll do weights, two lots of gym gear every day. Going to dry, dry cleaning. Alright, so keep stretching out in between your sets. Third set, go again. Underestimate the power of home workouts. This is tough. It's a thing. You'll be in the you'll be in the gym, be on the bench press. You'll be chatting. You'll be on your phone. I'm recording on my phone, so I can't go on it. And as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm already getting fatigued. Time management. Trying to, trying to stay lean out here on holiday. It's tough keeping uh, track of my foods I'm taking in. <laughs> and I love a beer, if you know me, I love a beer, so. And uh, right, last set of arch push-ups. be underestimated. Right, so we've done two pushes there uh, with the body weight. So now we're going to do some flies, some sort of flies to open the chest up, increase the surface area. All right, so I'm going to be using these two dumbbells. So you guys, you don't have to use dumbbells. You can use anything that's got similar weight. Tins of baked beans, preferably uh, weights if you've got them. You can even use, you could use uh, plates like that if you've got two of the same size. We're literally going to be lying on the floor and squeezing the chest together nice and slow. The weight's not going to be massive here, so we're really going to just focus on my muscle connection, slow movements and contracting the muscle. So, so lie down, get your weights. Start like this. And I'm going to go down slow, nice and slow. So we'll be doing 10 to 15 of these. Nice and slow. Nice little hold on the end. And squeeze and down. Oh. 
obviously don't do that that's disgusting <laughs> it's disgusting but it's in a love heart shape cute but gross right i'll put my top down for the next one but yeah as you can see i'm just doing nice and slow movements it's not massive weights, it's not super exciting, but if you go slow and contract the muscle, think about what you're doing, it's really fucking effective, all right? So, let me get ready. Let me put my t-shirt down and get ready for the next one. All right, set and set. And guys, if you wanna make these, this is only 10 kg dumbbells, right? So if you do wanna make these a little bit harder, you can go up, into one of those, okay? So I'm going to add this variation in as well. Two. So, what essentially you're doing there, you're gonna be doing a fly, and then you're kind of doing a close grip press, so it's gonna be working inside of this muscle here as well. Really effective, but as the weights are quite light, uh, I'm just doing a little bit extra res resistance in that movement, okay? So, you can add that in as well. Um, but yeah, two more sets down, let's go. Right, last two sets. I always get an itch <laughs> when I'm lifting weights on my nose. Oh my god. See, the weights are low, but you do the right amount of reps and concentrate on the contraction and uh, <laughs> starts to hurt, trust me. I'll do one more set of these. I've done four sets. <clears throat> Dripping in this gym. Last set of these.
So right, three exercises in. Decent chest pump coming on. Uh, but right, we'll get started with the next ex exercise. Can't speak. See, people underestimate these, these workout, workouts when you're using little weights. It's just your body weight. Oh, AC, fan me. Oh yeah. Oh God, yeah. Right, hold on, let me uh, sort out the next exercise. So on this next one, you need a dumbbell or a weight or a plate, anything that is uh, you can hold securely because you are focusing on the inner part of your chest here. You're gonna be uh, focusing on here, really squeezing on the inside, okay? It's building the top of your chest in the middle. This is called Svend Press, okay? Svend, sounds very Swedish, but um, anyway, I'm sure it probably is Swedish, isn't it? But anyway. So you're going to be grabbing the weight, holding, squeezing inside and out. Nice and slow. And aim for 10. All right, you can do these sat down like me, stood up. You can do a variation as well if you want to. Add uh, up like this, in, out. Totally up to you, how you feeling. This is a 10 kg plate. This is quite uh, a decent size weight for me. So I'd advise if you're starting off, just go a little bit lighter, but this is really shaping the inner part of your chest, okay? Uh, this is a nice exercise. So we'll do four sets of these, four sets of 10 to 12, or eight to 12, depending on how we are getting on. This is all about my muscle connection. Really squeezing and thinking about the area where you're working. Do not underestimate these guys. These are tough. It's <clears throat> the problem with <laughs> heavy tail gyms. There's always playing banging tunes like this. It really gets you fucking pumped. <laughs> right, that's it. Final set. It's a nice exercise, these actually. I really feel it down the middle. So, it's something I always wanted when I was a kid to have like this uh, little shelf at the top of my chest. And uh, this is exactly what it works on. Right down there. Right, final set. Also, little tip. When you're putting your fingers through the holes, if you have got a plate, don't do that, because you're supporting the weight of it. You wanna be actually supporting the weight of it with the squeezing of your hands. So you're putting tension on your chest and your pectorals at all times. So obviously the harder you go out, the more you're squeezing on the plate. <laughs> so, last set. Let's 
Excuse the grunting. Oh, fuck. Alright, so this final one, we're going to do dips. So you're going to be putting your hands on the ledge, bench, chair, whatever you're using. You can lift, raise uh, your feet up as well to get even more depth. We're just going to start off with normal ones. Probably aiming for like 20, 30 reps here. Uh, again, it's lightweight, so we want to be focusing, really contracting the muscle. It's going to work your triceps as a secondary muscle group as well, but it's going to really aim to hit the bottom part of your pecs. Try and put your hands to start with, shoulder width, grip away, legs bent slightly. So you'll feel that around there and on your triceps as well. Good little squeeze. So this next one, to make things a little bit harder, I'm going to raise my feet up as well. We'll do two more sets like that, trying to aim for the 30 rep range, 20, 30 rep range. See if I can find something to come back. My legs on. Having to improvise here, so I wouldn't usually use this, but so what I'm going to do this time instead of shoulder, shoulder width apart, hands slightly wider, feet raised. Like so and When you're doing those, be careful not to go so deep. It's going to put a lot of pressure on your rotator cuff and your muscles. Obviously, you're going to be warmed up by now, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but just watch from how low you're going. You don't want to strain your muscle or overextend it, okay? So, last set, again, 20 to 30 reps, and then that's it for chest, chest day. I just realised the towels in the gym. Right, so last set. These ones are going to burn. Make your last set your best set. Again, have your arms wide. Feet up. Slight bend and down. Don't overextend. So you don't want to go down here. It's going to strain the muscles, okay? Uh, in your shoulders. So just happy medium there. Drive up. So that is it for chest day. Literally, I didn't even use the Smith machine there, so ignore what I said at the start of the video. Uh, minimal equipment, we've got a bench, which you can, is technically a chair you can use, and a set of dumbbells. I've done five 
main exercises, one warm up, and your chest should be on fire. So you can do that wherever you are, at home, in a hotel gym, uh, and that's gonna get you a full rounded chest. You're literally hitting all parts and all areas of it. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now it's time for me to go in search for some food. I've got uh, an impatient girlfriend behind me as well, who's just got back from snorkeling. He probably wants to grab some food as well. So I'm gonna get a coffee. Uh, so hope you liked the video. Subscribe, comment below if you've got anything you wanna know or what, what you wanna see in the next few videos. But yeah, over and out from me. Happy chest day.